Hey, what is up guys? Matt here from the Toasty Bros, and my camera is not working at the moment, so we're going to be doing a good old classic voiceover with gameplay. But today, we're going to be checking out an old GPU. It's actually been a little while since we've tested some older hardware in games in 2017, but special thanks to a viewer, I actually have multiple old school GPUs, four to be exact, that I'm going to be also giving away after doing the testing. So if you want to win this GPU featured in this video, be sure to click the link down below to sign up. Up. These are US only, so keep that in mind. So today we're going to be taking a look at a GTX 650, a card from 2012 with a single gigabyte of VRAM. I have tested other 600 series cards on the channel, specifically the 660 Ti, and it still holds its own at 1080p gaming, especially if you get it for the right price. On the used market, mainly eBay, I see these things going for around $30. I will give my opinion on the card's value after the benchmarks, so you can get a better idea of why I chose the the price that I did, but today we are going to be testing this card up against some of today's popular titles, with some of them being a little bit more demanding to push the limits of this card. So how about we just roll those benchmarks? Now I'm not gonna lie, this card actually surprised me a little bit. While yes, it's not gonna hold up in the world of unoptimized games and early access titles at 1080p, but at 720p you can actually get away with playing some games. Titles like Fortnite and CSGO run relatively smooth, CSGO being obvious. The 1GB of VRAM in 2017 would actually perform a lot better if you dipped all these titles down to 720p instead of 1080p because of how much VRAM is actually required in today's modern titles. Dropping the resolution down will free up this load a little bit. But as far as pricing goes, I would have to say this card should be really valued at $20 or less because I managed to get 660 Ti's for 30 to 40 bucks all the time, like off and on I've seen them on Craigslist and eBay and managed to pick them up a lot. And this card really does have some performance under its hood, but the 660 Ti really does blow it out of the water still in terms of raw performance in games at 1080p. That card works a lot better at 1080p compared to this card, so the pricing should be a little bit less than the 30 or the 40 bucks that I see on the 660 Ti. 
So if you get this card at $20 or less, the 650 does still have a space in my mind as a very entry level PC that you could put together for roughly $100 or less. So ultra, ultra, ultra budget into the PC world. But overall, I'm very impressed with this little card. It isn't nearly as bad at modern gaming as I thought it would be, but again, I wouldn't pay much more than $20 for it. And that about wraps this video up here, guys. If you liked this video, leave a like down below and comment performance in the comment section down below if you made it this far. Also, enter the giveaway using the link in the description down below if you want to win this GTX 650. It makes a good little entry-level card, and well, you're getting it for free. Hope to see you all in the next video, guys. Peace out.